Hi guys, I'm just about to tell you a horrifying story, but with positive outcome. Well, if you look at my face, sorry to ask you about it, but I'm actually 67, but I don't have deep wrinkles. Well, a little bit of wrinkles on my forehead. Well, I do think a lot, but nothing here. Well, of course, I'm a big girl. And as Brigitte Bardot said, either ass or face. So fat, big bottom girls, our fat layers help our skin to stretch, she being stretched and look, you know, more smooth. But it's also connected uh, to my skin cancer. Well, I had it twice, guys. Well, first 12 years ago, what happened on my nose, I noticed there was something there and I thought for months it was just a cold sore. And when I went to see a dermatologist for a different um, problem, she noticed it straight away that it was actually basal cancer. Of course, basal cancer is not a melanoma, but it's very dangerous because it actually can grow the, its legs, it can go into your brain. So you have to get rid of it. Well, because it sat on my nose for so long, there was a hole, completely hole there. It took a little piece of skin from behind my ear, uh, put it there. And, um, you know, after some weeks or maybe even months, you know, it came off and whatever was attached and the rest came off. And you can live with it. If I wouldn't tell you, you probably wouldn't know it is. But if you know and look at my nose, you can see there's something not quite right there, you know. Oh, it's okay. But two years later, I have a very similar growth here in the middle of my left cheek. And then I knew myself it's basal cancer. And I happened to know a person who had similar cancer on her, also in the middle of her cheek. And after operation, what they done to cover the hole, just moved her cheek to the nose. And she lived like this for years. I was horrified. Oh my goodness Christ, I was in a state. But my husband organized for me two surgeons. One surgeon actually cut the, um, cuts this cancer. It was a hole there in the, in the middle of the cheek. But the second one was plastic surgeon. And he moved all the skin from my scalp down the face. It was French men, by the way, with delicate fingers. I still remember they were working all over my face and I just couldn't miss it, how delicate they were. It really was, you know, a perf work of a perfectionist, you know. Anyway, so now it took some time. Uh, there is a scar here running, uh, but uh, if I t don't tell you, you wouldn't notice. And it took some time, of course, for it to dissolve. Uh, but now, you see, I found some positivity in it. My skin is, you know, very, very... Mm, smooth. Well, I've never done any fillers. Well, I've done a little bit of micro needling, but this is just to stimulate the skin, but nothing serious. So you see in this um, negative, I'm horrifying stories, there is some positivity. By the way, I never use sun beds and I always stay in the shade. But in my childhood, when I was a little girl in the USSR, we didn't have any sun umbrellas. People just come on the beach and sit there until their faces become as red as a monkey's asses. That's what happened to me. And I know that all these kinds of cancer sometimes appears 30, 40, 50 years in my case, after. So young people, maybe you enjoy something now being on an open sun, but be careful. In 30, 40 years, it might not be so joyful. It was your funny art mama. But the message is, even in some negative stuff like skin cancer, you can still find something positive. Like I did. I enjoyed my smooth cheek. Mwah. Thank you for listening to this story, but it may be useful to remember that sun is dangerous.